What is happening guys? Welcome back, Sword State Onion here for some more Elden Ring. Continuing right off where we left off last time after beating Makar, the Magma Worm. Haven't even rested at the Grace yet. Um, let's see what kind of runes we got. <sighs> let's do that. No, not there though. Oh uh, yeah. We're going to get Vigor, Mind, both up to, well, at least Vigor up to 20. I might want to start using Arcane, because I think the dra that's another thing, so okay. We're going to come right back here and continue from here, but first we're going to do a couple things. Did I not get my runes back? How much runes are sitting there, guys? Oh, from the first time he killed me, right? Okay, they should just be right over here then. No? Yeah, let's see what we get. 500. Okay, it's still something. Okay, anyway. So triangle, square, Okay, shortcut to round table hold. Now let's uh, see if we can upgrade our sword. Well, I took you for no matter. It's all about your arms, then. Oh, we need a somber six. Crap. Should we, let's see, also, I do have Renala's Remembrance, so getting her staff and using that wouldn't be such a bad idea. I had my doubts, but only once before have I seen two great runes to No, I think she's talking about Vike. I think he's the only other one that's gotten enough great runes. Work, brave tarnished. The greater will is pleased. You and have our the right to become Elder Lord. Now, seek the Erd Tree and an audience with Queen Malika to become Elden Lord. Really, that's all we want to do, get to become Elden Lord, and get that, that'll be my platinum trophy, so that's kind of exciting, actually. What did she say about Gideon? Ooh, a new talisman pouch, how cool is that? Alright. Go forth, become Elden Lord. Another thing that could be a goal, along with the Platinum, would be to get to the stage where come June, we're ready for Shadow of the Earth Tree. So beat through Moog and stuff. And do some Halig Tree quest line. Well, clear, basically clear the Halig Tree and stuff. Because we want to get involved with Mikla and all he's involved with. So, okay. We did that. We can't upgrade our sword. Oh my god, I didn't even check about the... Slow start, guys. Slow start. Um, so her staff... We need 60 in. Wow. It's a little weight on that, then. All right, in that case, uh, let's at least go get a dragon incantation so we can start trying that out. If we can for one heart, I'm not sure if one heart is going to be enough. So this is a pretty awesome set piece. All Notice all the heads of the dragon statues are removed. All knocked off. 
people do not want you worshipping dragons. Um, so we can get dragon fire, incantation of those who have hunted dragons and feasted upon their hearts. Theirs is a pure, <coughs> excuse me, an overwhelming power. Dragon claw, one of the incantations. In, uh, so I think they're all, all the lore on these three are the same. Um, I think I like this one. Let's get this one. 12 arcane. See, yeah, we got to start getting into arcane. So we can't even equip that yet. Three more points in arcane. So we'll get bigger to 20 and then we'll start getting arcane up. Wait, why is... Oh, never mind. Just my talismans. Speaking of talismans, we can pop a third one of those on. Um, nothing wrong with some more faith. Kind of like to avoid the ones that buff your... Um, stat points, though, because you can't really rely on those. These are good always. Usually they hurt you though. Raises potency sorceries. Shortens casting time. Um, either one. Let's go with Rat again. All right, now back to business. Let's see where this leads. This is just going to be an exploration episode. It might be a little shorter depending on where we get to. Going up. Promise not to spin. So this is another really tall elevator. Torch up here. The Altus Plateau. We made it. Wow. Feels good. Um, yeah, let's uh, poke around a little bit and see where we see what we can find. Maybe we'll get a small dungeon in. Lots of caravans. I haven't really heard this place talked about very much as to why all these caravans are here. There's a lot of um, those golem re remnants too that you find a lot of in Limgrave and on the Divine Bridge, uh, Divine Tower bridges and such. These remnants here. Oh, there's another dragon here. Fuck. Did I rest? Do I need to rest? Not so much. Um, so over here looks like another Miyazaki swamp. Sorry if I'm not coming in clear. So let's take a peek here. Let's at least try to get the map fragment, which is that going to be over here? So I guess we head that way. I know there's tons of fuckers all over this place. Misbegotten, I believe. No, not misbegotten. Um, 
almonds. Yeah. Didn't want to do that one. It works. Smashed. So this is another reason clearing out Caleb might be a good idea. But we're going to make some sort of progress here before we decide to take another path. I don't want to deal with the dragon. I'd really like to get the map fragment. Can't leave that behind. Come on. We gotta actually get up into Altus Plateau proper, I believe, before we can get the map, which is like up there. So yeah, let's uh, just kill this asshole. Yes, I just dominated that last dungeon. And then it's like, no! You suck! But that's the beauty of Elden Ring over the other Souls games is you can kind of go do something else. So this is, I mean, clearly a hint from From Software. They left these guys here. You can't get past these guys. Maybe uh, go somewhere else for a little while. So let's uh, see what's over here. Wolves. Nothing off this ledge. I feel like I remember there being some sort of cave or something around these parts. Lots of hunting targets out here if you come into Altus short on supplies. Oh, is that an is that a Elden Ark? Is it, oh, it's a perfume, isn't it? Let's see if we can beat them. Shit out of this guy. We don't even need, need to use our big boy spells. So interesting, a perfumer hanging out here. I guess it makes sense. There's a lot of crafting flowers and stuff. Oh, see, look, it's one of the Rosas's, Rosas statues, and some runes. There we go. All right, we have our goal for the episode. We'll check out those runes next. To stay tuned for what is in those runes. So that's actually a good call. We can just place a little marker there. Just a little something, so we know to go up there after we get out of here. I would like to do a Hollow Knight playthrough. That's another option. Um, that would be fun. 
There's Kari Manor, Upper Kari Manor. It's like dusk right now. It's like awesome. Wow. Mm. Do I need to actually take Torn on to go? Gonna be a tough one. Am I gonna, or am I gonna just be able to? All right, 15 minutes already. Unsightly catacombs. Might as well. Let's see what's, what we got. Uh, I don't think we're going to be needing fire resistance. I don't know. You guys let me know too. Leave a comment. What spells should I be using? I'd like to get to 52 in. That'd be awesome. This is pretty weak. All of these I tried have been pretty weak. Oh yeah, we could try this one. We haven't tried. Poison. Let's get a flame spell going. I like fireball. All right. All right. Let's roll. See what's up. Traps, gargoyles, imps, skeletons. Oh, a holy weapon would really come in handy. If it is skeletons. What is that? This we got. Weird. That should be interesting. Let's try this spell out. Can I charge it? I should have read it before using it. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Am I heavy rolling? That is not quick rolling. Oh, Christ. No scope. Okay, why am I fat rolling? We can't be doing that. That is not good. This guy's gonna fucking kill me. Okay. Why am I fat rolling? Okay, we'll have to take the bow off. Not even wearing gloves. Anything better than what I've got for... I mean, these astrologer robes aren't too bad. Getting in, still medium rolling, but worse elemental damage resistance. Okay, this is too cool to not put on though. Especially if we're still mid-rolling. Right. We're good. Long half axe. Let's check it real quick. See if we get any misbegotten lore.
Large iron axe with long handle, weapon of the maltreated misbegotten. Making use of the force generated by its length, this weapon's resentment charged blows are difficult to stop. Yeah. No kidding, these guys are mean. This is gonna be like a long catacombs, I feel like. Sniping spot for who? I don't see anybody. I think we needed that for Lutel. Unless we need six. Are we supposed to be able to see some sort of bad guys here? Another one there. I can't drop down to this area either, I don't think. Um, let's see how fast it is just by tapping. Okay, that's pretty fast. It doesn't transfer to it other moves too well, but it doesn't use too much FP either. So that's survivable. There's the switch. Dog. Always get the dog first. That's a big boy, though. I gotta say, I love the sword. It's a lot of fun. Should use the flame move more often too. So I feel it. Look at how many bad guys are down there. All those are enemies. Those are all enemies. Look at them all. do six. It's probably because I've made... Wait, are all those alive or just some of them? I know I'm going to end up down there later, so I might as well clear these guys up in here. sprint through these catacombs because there's traps everywhere. There's my stone. See, what a great item. Is that a big one? So the switch is right there. Here's the door. Okay. So we gotta go back. What the fuck? Oh my god, are you kidding me? Yep. 
knew that was gonna happen. Tried, guys. Cleaver. Heavy bladed curved sword of colossal size awarded to Omen as a tool of war. So awarded to them. This weapon is made to take advantage of brute strength. The pattern etched upon the blade is the remnant of a deterior deteriorative melt maldiction don't know what the hell that is deteriorative means like deteriorate like to rot away I think maldiction mm, disease maybe curse indeed when bestowing a weapon preparations must be made for taking it away I feel like that's really significant, but I, I can't speculate as to how or why. Okay, so now do we need to drop down here? Oh, winged Mistbegotten. Getting some good Mistbegotten lore in here. Spirit with the aspect of wings which takes flight to loose arrows from its bow. The Mistbegotten are held to be a punishment for making contact with the crucible. The misbegotten are held to be a punishment for making contact with the crucible, and from birth they are treated as slaves or worse. Hmm. Another probably a pretty important piece of lore there. Um, seems like they aren't like because of their contact with the crucible so maybe we'll hear some more about the misbegotten in uh, shadow of the earth tree so I, i'm getting really strong um, crucible vibes from that trailer <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Where the hell? How do I get back up then? Do I gotta go down to get up? Here. Back here. Through here. Up here. Oh, wait, no, because we opened the door. Where was the door? We don't even necessarily need to. Door was God damn it. It was down at the bottom of here. Right? Yeah, okay. So for the run back we just dropped down because we used our stone we know that we can get down. Try incantation. I'm out of magic, y'all. No, I'm not. I can't bring in Lutel. Let's see, how many of these do I have? Four. Let's just use one so we can get Lutel in. And we'll chug this. And we'll use an incantation like they say. I don't want to have to do the run back, so let's just kill this damn thing. Whatever it is, probably a, a Erd Tree Watchdog or Black Knife Assassin. 
Oh boy, two things. A perfumer. And a whiskey guy. Let's get rid of this shield first if we can. Christ. Alright, fight over here. Oh man. Okay. using our fireball too much. Can I just run through? Oh, man. Not a good idea, guys. This is where we drop their stone. Dodge that better. Just stay there. Okay, we got her. Kill we tell. Okay. Oh yeah, okay. We got them. We got some perfumer ashes that we'll read. And I think that's a good time. That's a good that's a good app. All right, let's check out Perfumer Trish's Ashen remains in which spirits yet dwell used to summon spirit of Trisha the Perfumer. Trisha's, Trisha was once known as a healer who dedicated her efforts to treating misbegotten omen and all those seen as impure. When her efforts failed, she was their companions as they died. So she's also kind of like a deathbed companion for the misbegotten and omens, and probably all the Nerics, watching over them to ensure that they could pass peacefully, free of pain. A tale akin to the origins of the deathbed companions. Yep. Yep. All right, guys. We'll be able to level up. Look at how cool our character looks right now. Just, I mean, let's go. That was my one let's go for the episode. And with that, we'll call it. All right, don't forget to like, subscribe, maybe leave a comment. Much appreciated. Have a good one, guys. Catch you on the next one.